Good morning. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Let's take a look at Bitcoin this morning. So we've had a really nice squeeze over the weekend that's retested the highs in Bitcoin. Unfortunately, we're looking a little bit double toppy at the moment. It's not confirmed, obviously, until we come all the way down. In fact, a double top, when you see one, isn't confirmed until you take out the low in the middle. But what it does say is that we've stopped going up temporarily and we're going sideways until we break to new highs. So this is what I'm watching for. So far, it looks like a, just a small ABC correction and not too much to worry about. And so if we're still in corrective patterns, happy days. But we could be in for some sideways trading. Where the money is going, and I'm going to stay bullish, you know, as long as we're above the 200 day moving average in Bitcoin, I'm going to stay bullish. But, you know, after a really good sort of long run, no pullback at all on this big candle and a retest of the highs, we may see a bit of another swing lower. We may see that second swing lower of correction or third leg, if you like, that we've been waiting for. So if this is our first leg of correction, here's our rally and we'll see another one. Uh, before we continue higher. Uh, no, much, much more bullish picture in F. Remember we talked last week about this. This is Coinbase prices. We talked about this resistance level around 167.80. And the fact that we really struggled to get above 160 um, in F. New highs today, this morning. At the moment, we're holding at new highs as well. So looking much, much more um, stronger in F and if we take a look at F Bitcoin, F Bitcoin looks amazing. But what's um, more interesting about this Ethereum is we were, you know, when we moved above the, in, in Bitcoin, when we moved above the 200 day moving average and when we moved back above, because Fib levels are like a staircase. If I go to, um, if we go to Bitcoin dollar at Bitstamp, and we go and look at the weekly uh, FIB levels in this one, which I should have here, like this. Not those ones, those ones. So we'll put it in log scale and we'll look at the rally that we've had from the low in 2015. Well, FIB levels are like a bit of a staircase. When you get underneath them, they become resistance. And when you get back above them, you've stopped the trend going down. So in this staircase, if you like, as we were going down in Bitcoin dollar, when we would get underneath FIB levels like we did here, they would become resistance. It worked this way at the 50% level. It's not shown, but I've worked that way at the 38.2. In fact, I'll pop it in and you can see as well. So once you get underneath them, they could become support and then resistance. So back above this level for me says that we've quite likely bottomed and the way we've reacted off this weekly 200 moving average means that we stay in a weekly uptrend in Bitcoin as well. So uh, but what we hadn't seen was evidence of that in Ethereum. So I'm looking at a Coinbase chart. Let's take this away. Hide this for a second. On this Coinbase chart, we bounced from this 942 Fib. So this 886 Fib was resistance and it was right here at 166. That's what we were holding above. And you know, each time, each time you could drop down through a Fib level and it becomes support, resistance, support. It's, uh, so this also says that we're bottoming. Another way that I look at um, trend is in a trending market, you tend to um, you tend to only bounce kind of 50 to 61.8, but usually 50% for me. So if I draw from this high to this low, you can see that this 166, 167, sort of what I have not drawn it quite right, but it's actually won the 167 level was the 50% of this high to low. So we've pushed through that as well. So no longer in a downtrend, I think, in F and we can uh, start buying dips in this one. But what's really interesting and what looks really good for alt season is F Bitcoin. It's been quite a choppy chart, this daily chart in F Bitcoin. And normally when you get above a 200 day moving average like we have here, you would expect it to be support and we could carry on higher from here and continue to rally. In fact, I'm looking for all the way up here to uh, 47.68 in F Bitcoin. It's a really lovely double bottom pattern in this one 
as well. However, you know, it's been quite tricky and we keep dropping another level. But what we have done is really solidly held the 200 day moving average. And now it just looks like we're starting to turn up again and we will. Uh, and, and so alts should really rip when we see this. This is kind of quite a good uh, indicator. So trying to break up or back above that daily 50 moving average today, trying to rally in F Bitcoin. So for me, if we can do that, I'm going to start keeping a bit more in F than Bitcoin. I think it's set to outperform for a little bit.